Yeah, taking care of a dog. Just watching it from my neighbor. His name is Armin. We thought we'd try out a dog. Haven't decided yet. I'll share that with you at some point. I also got to double check with Kay. So anyway, stick around because in this episode, we're doing tenderloin kebabs on the 22 inch Weber grill. Thanks for stopping by the channel. All right, so here's what you're gonna need to make this dish. You're gonna need some white mushrooms, some bell peppers. We call them sweet peppers in Jamaica because you can see the red, gold, green. Purple onion, Spanish onion. I have four skewers. Might only need three, but just in case we need four, I have four skewers. Our seasoning, which I'll put in the comments section, and olive oil, and about a half a pound of tenderloin tails. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut up the tenderloin tails. And the trick to this is you wanna keep them all about the same size and the same thickness. That way they kind of cook the same way and you don't have any undercooked or overcooked on your skewers. So here we go. We're gonna cut off the tenderloin tails first then I'm gonna season them, then I'm gonna cut up the vegetables, then we're gonna add them to the skewers. All right, so we got our tenderloin tails, and I'm thinking that's about the perfect size for them. So I am gonna try to get everything that size for this cook. I kinda made the cut already. Don't even have to chop that one. And the beautiful thing about tenderloin tails is it doesn't really have that much fat on it. Um, my butcher did a really great job of making sure of that and I'm grateful to the team that put this together for me. Yeah, I'm about that size. So there we go. There's our tenderloin tails. So what I do is put them in a mixing bowl. Add some of my seasoning to it. Now, as I said, I'll put this in the comment section on what I use. And it's really all the taste. All right, so the next thing we need to add is some extra virgin olive oil. Just drizzle that on. My sandwich bags. Yep, I use sandwich bags instead of gloves in the kitchen, especially when I'm doing a marinade because I, don't, I like to move fast in the kitchen and I don't like taking my hands that dirty and wash them all the time. Although I do wash my hands a lot. However, I get it. I have done videos where I've seasoned stuff and then cut out, let it marinate overnight, and then throw it on the grill the next morning. This you probably just need to let sit for two hours and then you just throw it on the barbecue. You know, after you, you skewer everything. So just, like I said, mix everything around. Oh, you can just see that rosemary in there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is the mushrooms, and pretty simple. Just cut them in half. And next thing we're gonna do is the uh, purple onion. And this is a little bit too much purple onion for the entire dish, but I'm gonna show you a little twist that I do with it after. It's always a twist and stuff that I do lately. just removing the ends. That, cut it in half like that. Uh, we're gonna save this part here. And then, move the first layer, which is the skin front. So our bell peppers are all out and ready to go. And again, you wanna make sure they're the same size as your other vegetables. So just to, I'm gonna keep my mushroom and one of the purple onions out there just to give you an idea on what we're dealing with. So I only need probably about three pieces of these. So I'm gonna use the bell peppers for something else. 
pretty sure Kay's gonna wanna cook something, so. All right, so first thing I like to do is wet a paper towel with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then what I do is I take the skewer and I just wipe it down. So the amount of olive oil I added on that should be enough. So there's no set way to add your vegetables or your meat to the skewer. Add it any way you want. Just make it look pretty. So it just kind of gives you an idea of what we're working on. The Spanish on it, so. You need to learn that trick for the mushroom. All right, so there's our kebabs. Finished product. Spray a little oil on the grate. Just to make sure the meat doesn't stick. So we got our kebabs. Just gonna drop the cover on it and let it sit. Gonna need that. And then Stick a new one. Turn it back. And it'll grow again. So, gonna need that. Also gonna need a little rosemary. So I'm gonna go wash those off and then I'll show you what I do with those in a minute. <clears throat> Look at that smoke. All right, so you don't wanna adjust them too much meaning interfere with them too much you actually maybe want to turn them four times in the cook so i'm just going to turn them so here's a little twist that i'm going to add to it About a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, half a stick of butter, and I'm just gonna let this slowly do its thing. Add some leftover purple onion that I had, I chopped it up. organic minced garlic. So I've got some of the scallion. I'm gonna drop those in. Another waste, not want, not moment. Got some of the leftover mushroom. 
and some of the rosemary from the garden as well. So I'm gonna add that in there. And I'm in really no rush for this because you'll see in a minute how it all turns out. So I'm just gonna cover it, let it do its thing. That'll melt out and then I'll stir it. you guys can smell that right now. This is insane. And the bed and them, I'm just gonna brush it on top. Let's bring these over here. So there's the finished product. Beef tenderloin, tails, that have been put on a skewer and shish kebabbed with a little twist. And by the way, if you like what we're doing around here, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. We just like to cook around here. I wish you could smell that right now. I wish you guys could smell that. It's got a really nice smell to it. Meat perfectly done. Bread right off of there. Some of 
Mm -hmm. And I'll go juicy that up from there. Then I'm gonna stack it. Mm. That's good. Oh my god. That's really good. You can just see that and then, yeah, I'm gonna work with this one right now. The beauty about tenderloin is, it just pulls apart. Look how soft and perfectly cooked that is. Mm. I'm gonna try it with a little onion. Get some of the butter and all. Mm. Oh, that's rocky. Oh my goodness. That purple onion is so sweet. Love the flavor it adds to this. And this is the uh, mushroom piece. And oh, thanks for stopping by the channel. We like to cook around here. In the meantime, bye for now. And walk good. I'm gonna finish this kebab.